Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, installing Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Uh, this is the server variant, so Ubuntu server. Um, basically, it's uh, Ubuntu without the uh, graphical interface. Um, so you can use uh, a virtual machine like I'm doing. Um, I'm using Proxmox, um, but you could use VMware or VirtualBox or something like that. Um, or you can use uh, physical hardware. So if you have a machine laying around and you want to turn it into a server, well, it will pretty much run on just about anything. So um, I've uh, inserted the uh, ISO image. So I'm running off of a virtual machine, so I don't have a physical CD-ROM hooked up to it. Um, but if you do, just insert your CD or load up your ISO image and uh, boot your computer to that image or CD. Um, obviously, the first thing that we need to do here is select our language. Uh, just press enter. And then it'll ask you about your keyboard layout. Again, just press enter on, uh, make sure done selected, and then press enter. Um, this is asking you uh, if you want to do one of the cloud variants. Um, we're just doing a local standard issue Ubuntu install. So just select the top one and hit enter. Um, it's going to, um, if you have mo more than one network interface, it'll show them here. But since I only have one and it's set up for DHCP, looks like it's got the right address. Everything is good to go. So just hit done. Um, if you have a proxy, you'll probably know what you need to put in here, but I do not. So if you do not either, then just leave it blank and press enter. Um, this is for the um, archive mirror. So uh, if you know what you're doing here, you can change that or just leave it uh, default, which I'm going to do, and just press enter again. Um, for the file system setup, I like to use uh, the LVM, Logical Volume Management. So I'm going to select use an entire disk and set up LVM. Um, this will be better in the future for um, resizing mounted partitions or moving active partitions around. Uh, it just makes life a little easier for um, changing things in the future. So um, you can just uh, select uh, use entire disk. Um, it'll work too. Or if you know what you're doing, you can um, manually configure your partitions. Um, hit enter and then it'll ask which disk you want to install the um, system to. Uh, since I only have one hard disk, only one's showing up. If you have multiple, you can pick whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just press enter since I only have one drive. Uh, here's kind of a summary of the file systems uh, that are going to be used for each of the partitions. Um, you can change things around, but uh, if you don't know what you're doing, I'd just leave it, uh, leave it how it already selected them. And then just hit done. Uh, it's going to ask, are you sure you want to do this? Because this will erase everything off the drive you selected and repartition it. And it'll be very difficult, uh, if impossible, to recover any data. So make sure that you um, are sure that you want to... Um, erase everything off your drive and continue with the installation. So hit continue. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enter my profile information. So let's just do my name, uh, the server's name, we'll just call it uh, Ubuntu. Um, username, we'll just go with Shane. Uh, password. Confirm password. Um, I'm not importing an SSH identity, so we'll just leave that as no, and then go ahead and select done. Uh, these are basically like pre-configured environments uh, for your server. Um, since we're going with a base install, I'm not going to select any of them. Uh, there are some cool ones that you could try out, such as uh, uh, Docker is pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's uh, another kind of a virtual machine type system. A lot of different things you can uh, try out, but for this uh, video, I'm just gonna do a base install, so I'm not selecting anything. Hit done, and now we wait. Um, this doesn't really take that long. I mean, I guess depending on your hardware that you're using, but 
it's a pretty quick install. I think it'll take less than a minute or two. So we'll just go ahead and give this uh, a bit and see what happens. Um, if it starts taking a while, I might speed up this section of the video, but I don't anticipate it taking longer than a couple minutes. Look at that, already finishing things. All right. And there you have it. So um, pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and uh, select reboot now. It's gonna go ahead and start unloading things and getting ready to reboot uh, this message right here please remove ins uh, installation media and then press enter uh, basically just remove your disk or unmount your iso image and press enter uh, this is just to prevent it from trying to load the cd again and uh, starting the install again so just make sure that's removed and then hit enter and it's rebooting In a moment here, it'll come to a login screen. Uh, just give it a second because it still needs to load up the uh, SSH host keys or fingerprints. So uh, yeah, just uh, give it a second here. It should uh, load them up. If not, maybe we got to press enter. Nope, we don't have to press anything. Okay, so it's loaded all the keys. And now you can press enter and you'll get your login screen. So let's go ahead and try to log in. And there you have it. So a fully functioning uh, base install of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Uh, we'll be making some more tutorials here shortly, um, how to set up a LAMP server and um, I want to get a, a tiny, tiny RSS um, installation going, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, also check out my website, uh, shanetriplet.com, um, and under the tutorials page, I'll have a write-up of this uh, installation in case uh, you prefer that method of learning. But there you have it, easy as pie.